on. Hey, what's up? Ella on set. All right. You guys definitely spoke. All right. So now we're doing a video where I show you how to route in contact within Studio One. So we have a fresh, clean slate here. So we're going to drag in contact five, which is the current player at the moment. OK, it's loaded. So we're just going to pick random instruments. So let's go with something we are familiar with, which is Alicia Keys. I'm going to bring that in first. And let's say we bring in a set of roads. And then we're going to go to X loops. Let's double click on that, bring that in. All right. So first of all, in order to get all of the sounds, they all are routed to its own individual MIDI channel. This has nothing to do with routing, you know, routing out here, down here in the mix area. But this has a lot to do with accessing these different instruments. So right now, it's the first instrument, which is the piano, the Alicia Keys we brought in, right? So it's channel one. But we need to duplicate this to get the next channel or the next sound, the roads, whatever. So this is MIDI 2, right? And let's go for a third one. Let's duplicate that and change this to channel 3, which will be my, my loops down here. Now, as we see, it's all being routed through stereo. As you can see down here, everything is coming out of the same thing, right? Right? Everything is coming out of the same routing, the stereo one and two. And also in, in our mixer section of Studio One, we can see everything is still coming out of one and two. There's nothing there. Now, in order to get them out individually as far as routing, where you can put EQ, compression, reverb, and whatever effects you want to add onto a specific channel that, it, that reflects or that, that's associated to whatever instrument that you're trying to attack, we have to actually route them out, right? So this is how we do that. First of all, we have to hit the plus sound down here. And then for the sake of this here, we have three instruments here. So we're going to say three and I want them to be stereo. So uh, the number of channel at two, that's fine. We want to leave it there. And right here in this box, we want to click this where it says sound card host output. We want to start at channel one. We want to start at channel one. We want to use this one as our first one. So this is going to be our piano and then the second and third, you know, and so forth or whatever. All right. And we definitely want them to ascend. So make sure that this button is checked ascending output assignments all right and then you know by default there's going to be some auxiliary channels down here as we could see in my case i don't need those right now because i'm i'm not using them so we're going to check this box where it says delete existing channel before creating new ones right that's what we want to do and you also have the option to make this default so the next time you come into contact you can you know you'll see your routing all you have to do is just click here in this case i'm not going to do that so we're gonna we're gonna click OK. All right. So now we can see one, two, three, which is our three channels. But it's one, two, three, four, which is which symbolize left and right. So three and four, three being left, four being right, five being left, six being right. Right. Hope you understand it. All right. So now what we have to do here is go to the output channel. This one is by default routed to stereo one. So we don't have to touch this one. But our second instrument we have to say we want you to route to three and four, right? And then our third and final instrument is going to be five and six. So now when I play the road, oh, definitely have to activate this. You want to make sure that you activate them from the top. So at the top here, it's going to be an arrow. And when you click on them, it just enables you to see or activate the actual channel. So now when we hit the roads, this time, we can see that it's coming out as rightful routing, the routing that we gave it, right? So now when we go to the third instrument,
And we also see it happening here. You know, everything is being routed correctly. So that's pretty much how routing works inside of Studio One using contact. I hope you learned something. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I have fun doing this. My name is Ellup from ksound.com. You guys have a good one. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. Oh.